An unattended laser engraving appliance ignited a fire in a garage on the south side. The fire started after the property owner operated his laser engraver and left it switched on when he went to sleep. Firefighters' intervention was required to put the fire out. If you bought a laser engraver, you certainly don't want this happen to you. Hello, I am the inventor of LaserGRBL. In this video, we talk about the risk of laser engraver and how to prevent them. This machinery should never be left unattended. When you have to leave the machine for long periods, remember to pause the work. If possible, I suggest you to put the machine outside, resting on a non-flammable surface. The risk of fire is greater when using high flammable materials, for example paper, cardboard and plywood, especially at low speed. When cutting large thickness, it is better to make several passes at high speed rather than a single slow pass. Another common cause of fire is when the laser gets stuck in a position or it took the material by dragging it and then the laser beam goes to act on a fixed point overheating the material. Before starting a process, make sure that the laser can move freely on the wall surface. Finally, even having a small fire extinguisher in your laboratory is a good precaution. International safety regulation requires that a laser pointer is classified as not dangerous when its power is less than 5 mW, because 5 mW is the safety threshold that allows our eye, the eyelid, to close in time to prevent our eye from being damaged. Engraver lasers are thousands of times more powerful and they radiate beams of light into the environment that can widely exceed 5 mW. Also, if you work with shiny or reflective materials, these rays can be reflected in the room and hit your eye even if you are far from the machine. When using these machines, the risk of blinding is always present. For this reason, I recommend to wear safety goggles even in low power phases like focusing and positioning, because a little distraction is enough and you may inadvertently press the start button while you are focusing with very, very serious consequences. Combustion fumes can be very smelly, but with some material they can even become poisonous. In particular, some plastic can release chlorine and cyanide when laser etched. We are talking about gases that can easily kill you, even at low concentration. There is a list of materials that it's safe to engrave with laser and materials that it's not. You can find this list in the description. Some engravers have additionally safety features, for example, they can turn off the laser if they detect flames or the communication with PC is interrupted. Please prefer products that have this safety device but do not rely them at 100%. I hope this video was helpful to you. Please let me know in the comment if you ever had any kind of accident with your laser engraver. If you like this video, please subscribe to the channel and put a like.